might not even truly be a classic. I think this is an early 90s uh, uh, version of the radio, so it's probably uh, one or two years shy of classic status. For the digital recording of posterity that is now rolling, please state again the radio that you're using that is the smallest one on the roundup this week. Yes, yes, this is the tiniest radio on the channel here. It's a realistic, actually, actually it doesn't say realistic, it actually says Radio Shack on it, TRC-479. With no meter, just a volume of squelch and 40 channel. Sounds very clean. With a D104 microphone, that's probably it's, it's bigger than the radio. Yeah, I remember doing that back in the day in the 70s, having a little small mobile radio and this big giant D104 on top of it. Yeah, you know, you remember GTW John? He used to have uh, Mini Six. He had too many six uh, realistic uh, radios with D-104s on them. I guess he had different crystals in each one. <laughs> That's when he used to take the handle junk man for obvious reasons. Good deal. Okay, I'm running this uh, Montgomery Ward 702 base station with blue plasma display. I'd say vintage 84 or 86. Well, it is just about 9 o'clock, too, so when I come back up with a fresh glass of water, I'm probably going to switch to some other radio. <clears throat> well, I'm going to run this one at least as long as the gate is rolling. Maybe I'll move over to the metric tech for the end. Oh, there you go. Yeah, check this one out on the web. It's a really cool-looking 40 channel. Ward's 702, or <coughs> Ward, I guess it says on there. Yeah, I was doing a little window shopping, looking around. Did you see that? I can't remember the name now. What, a base station, like a like Yokogawa or something like that? Yeah, I think I did see that. That was a really interesting base station I never saw before. It was like no frills, but it was pretty big. Yeah, yeah, basic radio. I did check that out. The name... I was like, oh, where'd that come from? Like Japan, but like, did somebody bring it over? Like, you know, that was in the Navy or something. Yeah, I don't know. I never saw that one before. I don't think that was a U.S. Mar marketed radio. And then there was another one you don't see much. I think it was that Cobra 25 base. I saw a realistic one that had like a keypad and a sloped face and all. What, what one was the one you saw? It was a Cobra base station. I think it was a Cobra 25, but that doesn't seem right to me. I thought that was a mobile. Uh, no, I didn't see that. I did see a nice little uh, range gain on there, real cheapy. Not, I don't think, it, it was like one of them tiny photos. I saw the range gain. Every once in a while, I just kind of go scrolling through there and see what turns up, you know. Yeah, yeah, for kicks. Yeah, and just to see radios like, oh, I never saw that one before. <clears throat> then there's some radios, you know, that are pretty neat, but then they want crazy money for them. That's right. The data from eBay will be in the National Archives someday as uh, American history. Oh, yeah. Can you believe that? Well, hopefully that will happen long after I'm dead. I see the hammer left. I missed him. I heard him when I was coming back uh, from soccer practice. So he sounded good. He is limited to the Skype bandwidth, I noticed. Yeah, maybe we'll have to find something else to carry audio then. You hear me all right down there, Ron? Yeah, I hear you okay. Ron, 
John, did you see what was doing with the IMAX, or is it still still giving you high SWR? No, well, I have a really good SWR. It's just uh, just noise coming through it. Um, I just wanted uh, this, uh, the one radio one, you know, so uh, it is what it is until I find somebody who wants to climb up there and help me bring it down so I can tighten it up or fix it. Ten four. I got a one point, actually one point zero on it, and uh, that's, that's probably as good as you're going to get on an IMAX. as good as you're going to get on anything. You can't get a better ratio than one to one. Yeah, you're getting better than that. Yeah, that means like that thing, you know, you're hitting it and it, it's throwing out the right harmonic. As soon as you hit it, that's what it resonates at. I know IMAXs and stuff like that, they give you a little bit of uh, static, you know, but uh, it's probably just the area, and, you know, it is what it is, you know? Well, I run IMAXs, and I don't get any static. But uh, it does resonate at the frequency of 27115 on my AM radio dial. Like a tuning fork. Now we need to cue the song. You know, the, uh, the dum dum dum. 27115 AM Well don't get me thinking, I might have to produce some. I see what happens when your imagination starts working. Grumpy designed. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> yeah, we'd all have patches and T-shirts and everything. You know, if it was back in a in a CB heyday. But actually, you could still get that stuff. I, I got a coffee mug, and I actually did get a T-shirt and some stickers. And it's through uh, what is it? I don't remember. One of them, you know, little companies out there on the internet. They just do all that stuff off. You just set them the patterns. They got the patterns. I think there's a link there somewhere. That's right. Yep. And, uh, Scott, if you're listening, uh, I'm, I am on the Montgomery Wards radio, but I'm on your Synchron MP7000 microphone. Just in case you can hear us, Scott. That's what I'm running. How's that? How's this microphone sound on this radio? Kick it on back, Grumpy. So you were on a grumpy memorial transmitter. All right, grumpy. We hear you out there. Catch you on the band. Grumpy. I was running this mic. I was giving a little tribute there. Running a, a synchron mic. It's like some European desk mic. Almost looks like a Turner. Your radio shack radio sounded better. Yeah, this one seems like it's a little tinnier. Yeah, it's just a little bit pinched. Yeah, it shouldn't be pinched because I, well, I yanked a limiter out of it because it was so bad before, but yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't have good audio for some reason. Of course, this radio has been through the mill. This actually belonged to Steve uh, at one point. And he just, I don't know, he just he said, here, take it, I don't want it. And it's got a crystal in it to go down below one, I think, or somewhere. But the case is in rough shape. But it is a classic. 
I guess just sounded so good. If you'd have came on this one first, I would have just said, "Oh, that one sounds better." You know what I mean? Yeah, who would have thought that a tiny little radio shack radio sounded that good? Hey, fellas, uh, I'm just trying out my CD here. I just put it in. Can you hear me? I can hear you. A little muffle on the audio, but I hear you. Where are you guys at? Well, we're all over the place. I'm in Sanatoga. Okay, I'm right in Limerick. You ain't too far from me. See if uh, see if Sandbagger on the hill can hear you. I uh, hear, but I'm not copying all that well. So where is he at? He's up in Douglasville, Berks County. Okay. Yeah, I got about a nice water on him on this cover meter. Well, he's giving me about a 6 or a 7 on the Demco, and he's down on Limerick. What do you got, a mobile? Yeah, I got. I have the, uh, the Cobra Classic 25 LCD. And what kind of antenna? Um, fire stick. How long? Uh, the 3 foot, 4 foot, 6 foot? They're uh, four foot with the tun tunable tips on them. Yeah, you're doing all right from where you're at to my place. All right, cool. And, uh, get yourself a power mic. As I can tell, that's a stock, plain old stock microphone, isn't it? Yeah, it's the one that came with it. Yeah, get yourself a power mic. It'll sound a heck of a lot better. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that mic you're on, man, it's clear as day. This is a uh, D104. I hear you like you're talking to me right next to me. Well, that's nice to know. <clears throat> and my radio that I'm using is, is 50 years old or nearabouts. It's called a Demco Super Satellite. It's a uh, three-piece radio. It's all vacuum tube. Super Satellite. Well, hey, you're talking clear with me. Did you say that? FM? Who said FM? Demco. Super Satellite. No, SF. Say that again? You know, SS, the Nazi old thing that, you know, SS, Super Satellite, SS. Oh, I did, couldn't understand what you were saying. SS. Yeah, Demco, SS. There you go. Sounded like SM to me. No static at all. So at first I thought he said FM, then I thought he said SM, it didn't sound like SS, but yeah, my Demco SS. But anyway, welcome to the channel, I am the Spitfire, and uh, we got out here every Wednesday night and play with our antique radios, come on. Well, good for you, sounds like you're having a good time, uh, I still said SS. Yeah, yeah, but uh, let me, let me, uh, do, uh Get the name of that Limerick Mobiles. Um, I don't really have a name, honestly. I'm just I'm kind of new to this. Well, my name is Pete. You can start there and give yourself time to think of a handle. Everybody's got to have a handle. If you don't come up with one, we get to know you. We'll give you one. Yeah, I lost mine years ago. The screws came out and it fell off. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that's Sandbagger. He likes to play word games. <laughs> okay, Bluebird. Well, my, my name's Louie. Well, hello, Louie. There's, there's folks out here on a daily basis on 13, but Wednesday night we break out the classic radios and play with them. Well, that's pretty cool. I can respect that. I think we'd have fun on here. With my Demco. You know, you got, you got these cool names, Browning, Demco, Tram, you know, names like that. Even some of the real old, realistic radios. Don't forget Handick. Can't forget your Handick or your Big Johnson. Yeah, speaking of Big Johnsons, uh, does this, does this uh, cover sound better on the Plus 3 now? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I figured it would take some of the tinniness out. 
Now you sound like the sandbagger we know and love. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go that far, but at least it's working. There's some pretty good Cobras out there. Just got to pick the right one. Yeah, this is a typical Uniden made Cobra, you know. I have a classic 29. Yeah, you got a classic 29. The next thing you know, you're going to have a base station and a big antenna on a house. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that either. Here's Doc Hammer. Yep, here I am. In the mud, as usual. Well, as long as you don't talk for a long period of time, you sound good. Not in my mud. Is there a better program we could use besides Skype to carry the audio? I'm sure the answer to that is yes, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is. Maybe that's a question I can pose on QRZ. <coughs> yeah, they may know, but I'm sure people like that are doing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they could tell you right away if you talk to them. Well, talking is part of the nature of our hobby here. That's right. Sure you're right. I stole that from Corn Cobber number one. What with a corn cob? Show you right. That goes way back. That uh, that that goes back almost as long as far as Captain Coleslaw. Well, some things are worth carrying on, you know. Can't ride you right on. There's always somebody gonna come along and never heard it before. Show them right. Four, ten, Roger. Hey, uh, Limerick, what was your name again? Louie? He must have moved on. I was going to get him to say hello to Kansas. No, I'm here, I'm here. My bad. Yeah, say hello to Kansas. Hey Kansas, how you doing? Hey, we're doing fine. Your friend and my friend, Dr. Hammer. Out there in the wheat fields. Are they actually out in Kansas? We're in downtown, Abilene, Kansas. I hope his air conditioning works good. <laughs> the extreme in two months time. Yeah, you got that right. Kansas sucks. Well, 
Well, the only reason Kansas sucks is because Nebraska blows. <laughs> guys in your word games. <laughs> hey man, that's, 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 there's a lot of fun to be had with word games. For years and years and for hours and hours, dude. On and on for hours, dude. Actually, the whole deal was, it's usually it's Oklahoma sucks and Nebraska blows and Kansas is stuck in the middle. How do you have a gluten-free diet there? You don't have a gluten-free diet here. No possible way. there's a channel selector on your radio to find something that maybe is more interesting. Yeah, I only got 23. I have 24 in my Demco Super Satellite. Actually, you know what? I got 22A is in the blank spot in this thing. So yeah, I got 24. There's Yeah, there's a blank spot and it's 24. Somewhere along the line somebody put it in. <laughs> Wasn't me. Oh, and my cap transmit crystal is in there.